actually I haven't checked this morning. I guess we could see if there's any more. Let's save you some time with your pupa. First, grab a container, fruit container. So I had blackberries in here. Any kind of fruit is going to do just fine. Um, go ahead and remove that fruit. Pull this thing out of the bottom. The drying pad. What we're going to do is save you time by not having to go grab those beetles as they pupate. Uh, cut the lid off. You also don't want your pupa laying down in the bran because they're going to dry out faster. That bran's going to pull that moisture away from them. So this is going to elevate them off the bran and help you from having to sort them and pull them out and keep the beetles from cannibalizing them. All right, so for demo purposes, I'm going to leave these stickers on, but take these stickers off. You don't really need them. Uh, so I cut the lid off. Now I'm going to turn it upside down, and now I'm going to cut sections of each side out. And what I'm doing here is essentially making a table, okay? So I'm going to we'll cut there and there, and I'll show you this here in a second. But, uh, like that. Get a little cut out there. I'm going to go, no, I'll leave it like that. I'm going to do that on two sides on this one. This one's a little, a little more flimsy than some of the bigger containers. Now, the reason I'm cutting these out is that we're going to lay this in the beetle tray. And by cutting these out, we're still giving access to all of the area underneath for those beetles that hatch and come out. So you can still have a good number of beetles. You're not cutting down your surface area. Okay, so I've got two sections of that cut out. All right, now here's what we're gonna do. So you've got your tray or your drawer in your case with your brand in it, and you're just gonna plop that thing in there, okay? And what you'll notice is there's this ridge right here. That ridge is gonna come in handy because what you're gonna do is take your pupa, put them on that container. Now your, pu your pupa are gonna move, right? They're alive, they're gonna move, but they're not gonna move a lot. And so what'll happen is as you fill this area with pupa, they'll butt up against this, that edge, and they won't fall off, right? You don't want to get them more than one layer deep, uh, depending on uh, the depth of your edge here. But even if it's a little bit taller, go with just one deep. That way they're not on top of each other. And what's going to happen is these guys are going to hatch. Those beetles are going to grab onto the pupa, and they're going to start moving around. And then they're going to take a small little tumble down into the bran and join the rest of the beetles. The other benefit here is that that tray that you have your pupa in, you're not going to need that anymore. So you can use that for more beetles, more production, another larva tray, uh, whatever you might need it for. That should save you some time. Let me know if you have any more questions.